Welcome back to Guns.com. My name is Taylor and today I wanted to talk to you about what it is like traveling cross country with your firearms and ammo. I'm a full-time RVer and I compete in three gun and USPSA competitions as well as concealed carrying along the way. I get a ton of questions about this so I wanted to make sure to give you guys the down low. Full disclosure, it is up to you as a citizen to understand your state and federal laws, but I will give you some guidance as to the laws that you should be familiar with. So the biggest one is FOPA, Firearms Owners Protection Act. Basically, in a nutshell, if your firearms are legal in point A to point B of your travels, you're covered with everything in between. And so just to give you an example of that, I am from New Hampshire, and in New England, we have what we call the gauntlet. So the gauntlet is that herd of blue states that are really anti-gun and don't have reciprocity with other states in terms of their firearm licenses, which is basically like Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, Rhode Island, those kind of things, right? But because of FOPA, I am protected when I travel through those states, which I had done when I came down south. So I really recommend for you to keep a copy of FOPA in your car. And the main reason for that being is that should you get pulled over, you have that documentation to back up everything that you know and you understand. The other thing that FOPA says is that your guns and ammo should be in a separate compartment. So in your car, that means your trunk. If you have an SUV like me, then well, you don't exactly have a trunk. So you need to keep everything locked in, gun cases, uh, ammo cans, that kind of a thing. The other thing that I really wanna mention as well, a tool that you should have and use if you're traveling a lot is the USCCA app. So that app allows you to visually plug in all of the licenses that you have and it will show you on a map where you have reciprocity and you can even click into every single state and figure out what the laws of those states are and how you should react. Like for instance, if you get pulled over, every state is different in terms of if you should tell a police officer if you have a gun, uh, whether or not you're legally obligated to, so on and so forth. So definitely download that app and have a copy of FOPA on you. So when I'm storing my guns, I keep them in Pelican cases. Those are the ones that I've found are the best because they also are very good for traveling through airports, but they keep everything very secure and safe when I am having it either in my car or in my camper. When it comes to ammo, I like to use ammo cans. So you could get uh, conversion lock kits for your ammo cans so that you can secure them properly. I'm sure that there's other methods. You could use Pelican cases for ammo and there's all sorts of different methods. That's just what works for me because I've always liked using ammo cans. I like how they seal and let's face it, they're pretty cheap. So when you are storing your guns and your ammo, they really don't wanna see things together. They need to be separate because there are states where they do require that though not every state does require it. The other thing I want to talk about as well is what it is like traveling with firearms and ammo as a full-time RVer. Now, I understand that this is a very niche market. I don't know anyone else who does it, but I also wanted to cover it just for that reason. So if there's any of y'all on the road in a camper, you understand uh, what it is like and what to expect. So the biggest thing is my camper is considered my separate compartment. So that's where I keep all of my guns and my ammo. And the other thing too, is it is my domicile. So so if for whatever reason it were to be searched, it is your fourth amendment right and it requires a search warrant. Now, I've done a lot of research on this and it's really important to understand that every state is different. So in New Hampshire, I could consider my RV my domicile, but there are other states where they do not recognize that, which means that your camper would be considered just like your vehicle and they could search it upon probable cause and it doesn't require a search warrant at all. Really important to keep in mind. The other thing that I do wanna to touch on as well is that when you're traveling with firearms, if you are in a situation where you're getting pulled over and you're getting searched, clearly you've done something wrong in the first place. So be conservative when you're out there on the road. Uh, the other thing that I recommend as well is not advertising what you have um, in your vehicle or in your camper. So one thing that I've done is I scraped off all of the gun stickers on my car. I used to have a vanity plate um, that you said three gun girl right on it. I took that plate off. I changed it to another one because not just for getting pulled over, I'm not as concerned about that, but more or less for people breaking into your stuff. So you don't wanna give any indication of what you have in your vehicles so that it's not tempted to potentially get broken into. But anyways, be safe out there, guys. Please let me know what questions you have. Um, I'm certainly willing to, to talk about this subject in more detail or answer anything else you have. There's a lot of people 
that are very anxious about traveling with firearms and they don't do it because they don't understand how to or they're too scared to. So I hope this inspires you to overcome that, to do some research and to go travel wherever you need to or want to with your firearms, whether if it's for competitive reasons or for concealed carrying reasons. <laughs> You can check out my previous videos done on competitions that I have completed within my travels, and then you can keep an eye out for future ones. Uh, if there's other content you would like about traveling on the road, certainly let us know. We would love to provide you with that. Again, my name is Taylor with Guns.com. You could check out all sorts of awesome firearms, other content and things on Guns.com, but I cannot wait to see y'all the next time.